Howdy folks, uh, Nathan here with another VR Billiards work in progress vid. Um, so the first thing you'll probably see is that we've got an actual table now. It's still pretty rudimentary, I sort of just knocked it up in about 15-20 minutes. Um, as you can see there's still pretty sharp edges and all that sort of stuff, but I think we can agree that it's a lot better than what we used to have, so that's a plus there. Um, also we can move around now, so if I use the left joystick of the Hydra, you'll see that we can move around on the spot, or go around the table. Um, the right joystick rotates us, so we can sort of move around and shoot wherever we want it now without having to reset the ball. And yeah, so I'll just take a couple of shots and explain how things work and how some of the stuff's set up. So, a quick shot there. That was a decent break. Um, Alright, so basically the way the physics works is the balls are constrained on the y-axis and the reason for this is with the Indies physics you have to set the minimum velocity that the balls will bounce at and basically because you've got gravity in as well if you don't constrain the y-axis they'll just sort of bounce on the spot if you actually want them to like act like billiard balls so for that reason they're constrained on the y-axis and then in the pockets here we've got triggers, so if a ball hits the trigger it'll fall down and um, unconstrain its axis. So we'll see how that goes, if I can actually manage to pot one. Um, I'm not that good at pool as you'll probably see in this video. Oh, that yellow one looks like it might be pretty easy. Uh, a bit far away. Oh, you're kidding. I have to go all the way around. Um, anyway, also another good problem I found was that originally when I built this in the last two videos, um, the balls were basically the right size they were meant to be. So in Unity they were 6 centimeters across, the table was like 2 meters long, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but basically that tends to break physics because Unity doesn't like scaling everything down. So everything's ten times as large as it should be, but because the IPD is also ten times larger, you don't really notice. Let's have a quick go here. Oh yeah, so you can see all the ball sort of dropped down and then came out just because there's no colliders at the bottom there stopping it. Let's see as well if I do it with the white ball. So yeah, drop down there and then sort of shot out, so basically it's just setting up proper colliders down here, probably funnel it to one point so that you can actually like see where the balls go out, just sort of like in a real pub. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much how it's going. Um, now that movement and that's in, the main thing is just getting the table looking better. Um, the controls I'm pretty happy with at the moment everything's actually pretty hittable and the positional tracking lets you aim pretty well. Um, yeah, so you know, once the colliders are in, it'll be in theory playable. And yeah, that's all for this video I guess, so catch you folks next time. 